If you've ever taken the time to play some Hogs of War multiplayer, you will of course have stumbled across the map known as Hedge Maze. Now this map is what it says it is. Your pigs are plonked into a maze made of hedges, or at least a PlayStation 1's interpretation of what hedges look like. Uh, but this map is incredibly flat. You either have ground level or one level above that, uh, whereby you are standing, I guess, on top of the hedges themselves. But I always feel like this map feels a lot bigger than it actually is because it is so flat. Uh, if you end up landing on the outer edge of the map, there is a chance that you will explode, uh, which in some cases can feel quite harsh uh, to players that get knocked back into those areas. But we have also played it before in uh, some multiplayer games. Uh, the video to that one will be at the end of this one, but uh, we're going to look at how this map has progressed, if it's changed at all in its development, uh, going back into the earlier versions of the game. Personally, for me, I have never really liked Hedge Maze. It's been one of those maps that is incredibly vanilla because, you know, if you are playing a maximum of four players against each other, then they will all start in, you know, each corner of the map. They will usually have a health crate near them. And yeah, I don't know, there's no real, you know, amazing uh, areas or points about it. In the center, you do have some foliage, some trees and some open space. And that's where you gain access to the upper level uh, to then go ahead and collect crates and cross bridges and stuff. So there is things to do, but on a personal note, I don't really like it that much. This is, of course, the very first multiplayer map that we're looking at in this map development series, but I'm always curious to know what exactly it is that makes certain maps uh, categorized as single player or multiplayer. Like, what was the catalyst that made Hedge Maze a multiplayer map? But going into the earliest version of the game, you can see that there is a bit more detail, a few more assets, but things are still incredibly flat. And to me, it doesn't feel like a finished product, mainly because, you know, I mentioned it before in previous map type videos, but the outer edges of this map seem to sort of drop off a little bit. Whether or not the player would have access to behind there, who knows, because again, you know, physics don't work and, you know, the overall game was still in its very early stages, but I am still not a fan of the old hedge maze theme because I'm getting major flashbacks to like Lara Croft on PS1 where you had that training level in the in a like garden bit i don't know it's just kind of giving me that vibe especially with that sort of manor house in the corner in the center of the map there is for some reason a watchtower next to what seems to be some kind of monument which was used on the zulu's map as well uh, but dotted around the map you'll also find some trees and a few uh, i want to say ammo dumps uh, because they're just sort of crates boxes but I believe those are the uh, the boxes used and categorized as ammo dumps. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but uh, either way, you were able to gain access inside the building as stated before. You know, the overall concept of buildings was different, so being able to go inside them, shoot from windows, uh, but it's still incredibly vanilla. There's not really much going on, and it's still feels like a multiplayer map because of that lack of detail. But I feel like the artists and the programmers and the devs got together and were like, right, let's just make a whole bunch of maps, whatever themes you want, whatever random stuff we have available to us in terms of assets. Let's just put some stuff together, see if we like it. And then later on in the project, we'll come back through them and, you know, filter them into multiplayer or single player, because that really wasn't on the cards at this stage. In development gremlins was being taken over or was going to be taken over so the project was going to stop halt completely change its art style completely and then go from there so at this stage in development maps were just being created for the sake of being maps and the overall objective i suppose was game feel and whether or not certain maps actually felt like they belonged within Hogs of War. But progressing into the later stage of development, as uh, Hedge Maze is in fact one of the oldest maps in the game, and obviously it made it into the final version of the game, but you can see here that the overall style of Hogs of War has changed, as has the map, but the sculpting is still the same, and it isn't until the alpha stage when functionality is implemented that Hedge Maze actually becomes the map that we know it to be today. I don't have any footage of it because at the alpha stage that redevelopment was occurring, so the map itself doesn't actually exist within the files of the alpha build. Uh, but it is, of course, as I've already shown when we get to the beta, that the map is as it is today. 
The main element that has uh, remained constant throughout this map's development is that the center portion of the map has been kept completely open, but the major difference being that the older version of the map is primarily on ground level. There is no upper level to travel to, you don't gain access to any higher level and sort of a better view of the landscape, everything is on the ground and the hedges act as hedges should, which is to block the view of the area around you. Uh, but ultimately, that is uh, Hedge Maze in a nutshell. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, a look at this map's development. It is, of course, one of the maps that, like I've said, is not really one of my favorites, but is in the list of things to do. So I figured we'll get this one out of the way and then take a look at more interesting maps going forward. But do you like Hedge Maze? Have you played it? Uh, do you enjoy it when you do play it? Let me know your thoughts on everything to do with this map in the comments. Plenty more map related stuff coming up in the future and other things that I'm working on as always. But I'll keep you guys updated with my progress and any issues I run into going forward. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. And in the meantime, I will catch you guys later for the next one. Thank you.